Hello guys, welcome to Helpful Solutions. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use multiple accounts in Slack in super easy and super simple steps. And let's go and see how we can do it. To actually use multiple Slack accounts, one, you need multiple emails, and two, you need to create multiple workspaces. Let's go. I will go back here, and from this menu, I will click on the top left button that only has one letter in it, as you can see, and this will open up a new menu called Workspaces. In the Workspaces menu, you can create like actual new workspaces and create new accounts by like vice versa. So I will just say add a workspace and the add a workspace thing, as you can see, will let me do multiple things see different emails, see different workspaces, or, as you can see, sign into another workspace, join another workspace, or create a new workspace. This is our way of creating a new account, actually. So if we just say create a new workspace and use a different email address, it will have to create a new account. Because if you use your older emails, it will just create a new workspace under the same email. But if you use a different email address, you will be able to create a new account with it. And of course, like just go ahead and get it. I will just say continue with uh, Google. Why not? Let's just say Google and then select our new email. Of course, it will take some time to load and everything. But after you do everything, it should like generally create you a new workaround and a new workspace. I think it crashed in the meantime. Unfortunately, it's automatically added the new workspace, but it must have created the problem. Let's try that again with another email. We will say create a new workspace, use a different email address and say continue with mail this time. I will enter a new email of course not this one but change it to this one and after you do that you will be able to go ahead confirm your email address and create your new workspace just like you would create your first workspace then access all of those workspaces from this menu that you are seeing right now and this is generally how you do it guys if this video helped you, don't forget to give us a like and maybe even subscribe to our channel. But in any other case, I hope to see you guys in the next video as well. Have a great day and goodbye.